New at four, that storm is stranding some Buffalo residents in Chicago. After mm. coming here for Saturday's Bears Bills game, a lot of them are still struggling to get home. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman live at Soldier Field talking with fans about what's happening back home and how they plan to eventually get there. Marissa. Yeah, hey, Joe Marie Buffalo fans left Soldier Field here on Saturday with a glimmer of hope that they'd be able to make it home in time for Christmas. But then, of course, more than eight feet of snow fell over western New York. The Buffalo Airport shut down and the earliest folks would be able to jump on a flight would be Wednesday, four days after this game ended. Now, Bills fans we spoke with say they knew that they were risking being stuck here in Chicago as data showed that this once in a lifetime blizzard would fall over the holiday weekend. We spoke with Kristen Kimmick, who runs a Buffalo Bills female fan group. As a bucket list challenge, she vowed to make it to every Bills game, both home and away this year. The Bears game, she says, was not one she wanted to miss. So she got in her car and she drove through all of this, this rough Indiana terrain, to make it here. Back home, she says she hasn't had power at her house in Buffalo since Saturday, but now she's trying to make the journey back home. But with so many road closures, she knows it's still possible she could get stuck again on the way home. Rather than adding to that mess, we decided to, you know, of even attempting to get in and then possibly getting stuck and, and putting more issues for the, the first responders. We decided to stay in Chicago for an extra night. Now we're actually going to try and get a little bit closer, but I think we're going to be stuck uh, um, probably in Cleveland or maybe Erie, it. Pennsylvania. If you pray, if you send out good vibes, if you you know, anything like that, um, keep Buffalo in your thoughts over the next, you know, week or so, because I, I have a feeling that the fallout from the storm is going to be a lot more than it looks like now. Again, as we heard, the death toll is rising. Kimmich says she's worried about what she's going to find when she eventually does make her way back home, and she's not alone in this. Again, the Buffalo Airport is now expected to open Wednesday midday, but folks we spoke with say there's no promises from the airlines. Even those flights from here in Chicago will be taking off. We're live this afternoon at Soldier Field. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. What a mess. Marissa, thank you.